Hello viewers, welcome to day to day math. Today I am going to show you how an applied max record has to be. So this is the first page, the Bonafide certificate. I have made the children to do five different experiments, activities. Matrix multiplication, inverse of a matrix, plotting a quadratic graph, graphing of an exponential function, creating charts on supply and demand. All these different activities are already there given in the handbook. So there are various other activities. I think around 30 activities are there out of which I have selected 5 for my students. So see how this is being done. Matrix multiplication, everything they are going to do on Excel. Okay, so this is the evidence of their Excel sheet. How matrix multiplication, what's the aim, methodology, stepwise verification and conclusion. This is the right hand side part. In the left hand side part, what I did is, I made the children to do it in Excel sheet. Take a, a screenshot of it and that they have pasted in Word and we have taken copies for evidence. So, how do you entry, do the entry of a 3 by 3 matrix? M mult of the function. This is how you do matrix multiplication. This is the function name. And uh, array 1, how do you select? Array 2, how do you select? So, that is the relevant step 1 and step 2 of this particular window. And then, how the matrix multiplication answer will come? And that is being manually verified here also. Okay, so this is my first activity. Second activity is how do you find inverse of a matrix? Same thing. What is the aim? What is the methodology? First one, ent entry of the 3 by 3 matrix in the Excel sheet. Then, what is the inverse operation command? M inverse function. So, that is being entered. Relevant step 1 and step 2 parallelly on the right hand side is being explained. Then, third one, how do you find after when you... Uh, uh, enter that M inverse function immediately you will get the inverse of the matrix in Excel. So that is being explained here. What is the command to be done? Control plus shift plus enter when you do you will get this. Then this is being parallelly verified manually. So this answer and that answer has to match. Then conclusion. Second one done. Third one plotting of a quadratic, quadratic graph. You must have uh, uh, seen plotting of a graph using um, Desmos. So this is using Excel. How do you do? So, prerequisite knowledge, what do you need? Methodology. So, in the left hand side, form, formula for implementing quadratic function that is being entered. You see here values of A, values of B, values of C, we have to enter. And this is the quadrat. It's very little minute. Maybe if you zoom in inside, you will be able to see. See. Uh, then similarly, step 3. How do, you, how do you find the result? Okay. And step 4, auto completion. You have to lock all the cells. Only then you will get the graph. Then, on the next page, see parallelly, you will get the graph. And this one, we have also verified it graphically. Manually also, we have done. See, this graph and this graph will look alike. And plots are, before plotting this, we verify. Just like how we plot a graph, we give points of X and we find the points of Y. We plot it, right? Same way we have done. See, this and this will look alike. Then, there's a conclusion. This is the third activity. Fourth one, plotting of an exponential function. Here also, same thing. Prerequisite knowledge. Methodology and the to do methodology, we have given the introduction first. What is an exponential graph? See, the values are being entered. For one, what is the value? Well, just like how we get X and Y values, we will get an Excel sheet when you do. So, we will get all the points and we will graph it. See, graphing is being done. The trend line is being like this. See, before we started, see, I, I showed you the graph. This is a manually done graph. And this is the computed graph. See, it is a like... And then, see exponential, this is the trend line of the exponential graph. Verification is done here parallelly. We gave 1, 2, 3, 4, we calculated what is E of X and with that we plotted the graph in the first page. So, that is the, then the conclusion. The last activity, fifth one will be creating charts on supply and demand curve. As such, we know in applied math, supply and demand curve is a very important topic in economics. So, we took this topic. Similarly, here we start with aim, prerequisite knowledge and uh, in methodology, we went on the introduction. We did this with spreadsheet. So, here also same thing. We uh, calculated what is the price, what is the quantity demanded, what is the quantity supplied and with the same thing we did. See here, what, the line chart. How will the line chart look? See, the demand and supply here. And this is the dotted line, points, scatter chart. Scatter diagram is also here. We completed this using manually, with graphically also we did this. So, this is the supply and the demand chart comes like this. Okay. 
so that's the conclusion graph uh, the activity completed so these are the five activities that uh, we did for applied maths thank you so much